Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to build this great flip box carousel. It's just a regular sort of carousel but we've got these flip boxes inside and obviously you can flip one on and go to the call to action buttons and read both sides. Now we're using a plugin called the Divi Supreme Modules plugin to do this today. And I'll put the link below the video. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable the visual builder. Now when we're in the builder mode you might see that uh, the carousel is not actually visible here. That's because it's using short codes and quite often with the builder short codes don't show up on the back end here. But that's fine as long as it shows up on the front end that's all we need to worry about. So I'm going to delete that. I'll just delete the whole row. I'll leave the section there and we can build on that section. Now the first thing we want to do is create a, a flip box like we've got here. To do that let's create a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light grey ones here. The darker blue purpley ones are the ones you get when you add Divi Supreme modules and it'll add about 40 of them for you. It's a really great addition to the Divi theme itself. Like I say, Divi theme comes with all kind of modules to do just about anything with, but uh, this just adds so much functionality, it's fantastic. So I'm going to use this, the flip box. There it is right there, so I'm just going to choose the flip box module. I'm going to go ahead and add a new item. As you can see it's put something in there. Now text wise obviously you've got a title here. So my title, whatever you want to put in your title. You can add a subtitle if you want to. As you can see it's put it down there. And it's disappearing when I do that because it's flipping around and we haven't got anything for it to flip to yet. So we've got our content. Um, image and icon, you can either add an image or an icon. Let's use an icon. Like I say, you can add whatever you want. And there it is, it's popped it in there. The link. The link, is if you want the module itself to link anywhere, I'm going to leave that as is empty. The button, if you just put a hashtag in there or obviously link it to wherever you want the uh, the button to take people. I'm going to put a hashtag in there to represent a link and put in whatever text you want the button to say. As you can see it's added the button there. Okay well let's just style this a little bit. Let's give it a background I'll just give it a simple blue background color. Let's go to our design. We want to make sure it's tall enough. So I'm going to go down to sizing. I'm going to bring the min minimum height up to probably around 400. So everything fits on there okay. So it doesn't want to be any shorter than that for sure. Let's just round that up to 400. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, but let's go down and just quickly style things. If I go up to the top, icon, let's make the icon yellow. Don't want to circle it, icon's fine on the top. You can make it bigger or smaller by using font size, and I'm, I don't need a box shadow on it. Text, well let's just start off with the title text. Title text, I'm going to capitalize it. I'll make it semi bold. I'll make it yellow too. And let's put them in the middle. Moving on down. Body text. Just going to put that in the middle. I'm going to make it white. Subheading text. Um, I guess we'll leave that one white too. I'll put it in the middle. I want to bring it up in size a little bit. Something like that. Again, I'll capitalize this too. And we want it to be in the middle also. Great. And we'll just give the 
button a little background color button alignment's fine let's use custom styles text color let's make that white and button background let's give it an orange background and let's not have a border and we'll just add a bit of padding don't want a button icon so I'll leave that to no you may have to switch it to on and then turn it off if your icon is appearing we're pretty much done with here I just want to give it a bit of padding left and right I think we're all right top and bottom so padding let's give it 30 pixels left and 30 pixels right I just hit the chain great so that's the front side to do the back side just either clone it or add a new item it's up to you I'm gonna clone mine I'm just simply gonna change the background I'll put an image in there or something perhaps let's make that background color well we'll leave that and we'll just add an image There we go, and let's blend it with that background color. So I'm just sliding down for the image, image blend. Let's have a look there in the background. You can see that the image, but it's got that blue background, which is great. So I'm gonna leave that just like that. We'll call that flip box done. Like I say, I'm probably not gonna use this one because I've created six of them or seven of them anyway. Now, when you're happy, what you want to do is save it to the library with this little icon here save module to library hit that give it a name I've called mine one through F7 don't make it global because you want to be able to change it uh, for each item when you're happy just hit the save to library now you need to do another six or seven of these or however many you want to do on your carousel my way of doing it is simply I clone it with the little two boxes there drag it over and style it and put in the text for whatever it is I want there so I'm gonna pause I'll delete these two and I'm gonna copy this one six times so we got something okay so I've now got six of these as you can see they're pretty much the same just got different colors on them and let's make them work with a carousel now the important step was we saved them to our library with this and mine are called f1 f2 f3 etc so if we go to our dashboard down to Divi actually before we do this what we want to do go to Divi Supreme Pro the plugin that we're going to be using for this and that we use for the flip boxes click on it you want to make sure you've got enable Divi library short codes you want to make sure that that's on and purple like that save your changes now if we go down to our Divi and go to the Divi library which is where modules are saved to you'll see here's my F1 2 3 4 5 6 7 up there because we've enabled that switch, we've now got short codes next to them. It's generated some short codes for us. So we can use these while doing our carousel. So let's go back to our page. And we'll add a new row. We've still got the section where I deleted that row before. I'll make it one column. Before I put a module in there, I want to make this row full width because I want mine to stretch the whole width of the page here. So I'm going to go into the settings, I'm going to go to the design tab, I'm going to go to sizing, I'm going to pull the width up to 100%, I'm going to copy it, control C, and paste it below in the max width. So we've got 100% in both the width and max width. That will give you a full width row. Okay, now I've got my full width row. You can see the green tab is sort of full width now. Let's add a carousel module or card carousel I think it's called there it is the supreme card carousel okay there's various different effects I'm gonna leave mine on slide 
I want it to show perhaps five slides. Now, because I've got an odd number, I'm going to put centered mode on, so there's always one in the middle. I only want them to scroll one at a time. Slider speed, 300 milliseconds. Let's slow that down slightly. Let's make it around 500 or half a second. That's fine. I want it to autoplay. I want it to pause on hover so people can get to the buttons if they need to and flip to the other side. Infinite loop looping, yep, we want it to go round and round. Equal height, I'm going to leave that off because mine are all actually the same height so I don't need to put it on. If you've got different height objects you want to put that on. Arrow pagination and use grab cursor. The grab cursor is when you put it over it and it turns to the little hand to indicate that it's an active element. Great, I'm not going to put a background in there. So let's start adding our items. And I've added my first item that's popped up here. We don't want a title. In fact, we don't want hardly anything in here at all. All we're gonna have in here is our short code. I'll put that on visual, don't want a subtitle. And let's copy our first short code, which is F1. Just left click on it, it'll highlight. Control C to copy or right click and copy, however you like to do yours. I'm going to put my short code in here. Now you won't see anything because, like I said, with short codes, quite often you don't see them turn up in builders. That's fine. So we've got our short code in there. Let's move on down. We don't want an image or a badge. I want to delete the image that's there. That's great. As you can see, it's got a short code in there. Don't want to use anything as a background because we've got everything color covered. When we've got our short code in there, we want to make sure if we go down a button, we want to go into the button, just delete the text there, and that'll delete the button itself. We've got no link in there because we don't want a button underneath it. If you do, that's fine, but you've got buttons on the cards themselves, so that's fine. So that's deleted those, that they're, they're gone. Great. So what I'm going to do now is just save this. I'm going to clone it. I'm going to go into the one. See, I've cloned it. There's two of them now. I'm going to go into the new one. All I'm going to do is change the short code to the next short code that we've got here, which will be 30, 31, 32. I'm going to do to 34. So I'll change that to 30. Save. Clone again. And we've got number three now. Well, I'll pause now and I'll do the rest. Okay, I've got now I've got six of those. Just want to go into my design. I want to change the color of those dots there. So to change the color of the dots, I want to go down to the pagination element. Let's make that dot purple. And the inactive cover, I'm going to make it purple as well, but I'm going to take the opacity down so it's a lot paler. The opacity is the right hand slider right there. There we go, something like that. Right, let's save our changes and check out our carousel. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There's our little flip box carousel. When I hover over it, it should stop. Yeah, so we can go and we can check out the button and read the little flip titles and when I take my little hand cursor off there it should continue rolling there we go so that is how to create a flip box carousel using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.